All right, my bad, guys. Uh, it's Christmas time and family's coming over and whatnot. So, yeah, it's going to be kind of busy around here. So I might have some more interruptions, I don't know. But back to what you're saying. Um, you wanna, you're going to want to keep this the same and go ahead and replace this. I left a comment here with a block, with a leaf, I mean. You're going to scroll down. And then right here, you're gonna, you probably saw block.grass.blockid. This is what it's. This is the block that the tree can spawn on. So I made my sand just because I wanted to be different. So my trees spawn in the desert, but they only spawn on sand. So if there was some dirt in the desert, they would not spawn on dirt. So this is the block that the tree can spawn on. So I'm gonna emphasize this can. Um. So this, yeah, this is what the thing is, but right here, when the tree actually spawns, like let's say the tree spawns on sand, this also used to be dirt. I'm pretty sure this was dirt for you guys. This was grass and this was dirt. Now what it does is when it, when the tree is created on sand and this, if you kept this as dirt, it would create a dirt block right underneath the tree. So if you cut the tree down, you would just have a random dirt block right there. Now this, like I said, sand equals block created underneath the tree. So what this did, I guess, was when you had a tree, it can spawn on grass. But once you plant the tree down, you would just have soil left over until, you know, it, the grass would spread and whatnot. So, yeah. You're going to want to, if you, I mean, if you want to put, I don't know, if you want your tree to spawn on snow I don't think it can, I don't think it can spawn on snow but like if you just want a regular tree just make this grass and make this dirt and you're gonna get it normally um actually you know what I'm gonna I wanna I really wanna show you guys this because I this might seem confusing so if we put that as dirt let's go ahead and create a new world in the desert and I'm going to show you what it actually means that it puts a dirt block underneath. Uh, come on, generate a little faster. Okay. So we see that our trees... I should probably make the trees a little, I don't know, less bright. Because it's just... This color is kind of annoying now that it's just way overused. Okay, so let's cut our tree down. And you'll see it's on sand, it spawned on sand, but it created a dirt block underneath it. So that's what that, that's, I mean, that's what the, that's what the thing is. While we're here, we can go ahead and test this out. One in five chance of getting a cookie. And it looks about one in five. Alright, so, we're good. What is over there? Alright, so we're good with that. So now you know what it is, so... If you're spawning on grass, make this dirt. If you're spawning on sand, if you if you're making some kind of a sand tree, make this, you know, spawn on sand. And there's already people outside my door. So you might hear some voices. Alright, so now that we have those two, again I have comments in there, so you should that should help you out. Um there's another thing right here, blocking leaf. Um uh, you're just gonna want to replace that with your own leaf. Then two more is a leaf and a log. Just go ahead and replace those and play around with this. Like this is what creates the tree. This is what creates the shape of the tree. So you can play around with these numbers, like all of these numbers right here. Play around with them because this is what creates the shape of the tree. And I did not try making any new types of trees. But just like play around with these numbers. Like you can make like really really tall trees, really, really like there's like all the leaves along, like there's like five leaf radius around the tree, there's a ball on top, whatever you want. Like play around with these numbers and see how it works out for you if you want different um, textures for trees. And wow, people are loud outside my door. Alright, so now that we have this, let's go ahead and, I mean we're done with all three of our classes, let's go back to our mod blockium. We are almost done. Alright, so we're going to go to our Generate Surface class, and 
this is this is what we're going to add right here so first of all we need to create a biome gen base to figure out what biome we are in right now so go ahead and create biome gen base i just named my biome world dot get world trunk manager dot get biome gen at and then base x and base z is what we pass into our method right here up top there's to two parameters so that's what that's what they are now next we we are going to make a world gen blocking tree so our own class and then mine tree and then new world blocking gen blocking tree empty constructor because we didn't set a constructor so it, there's that now we're gonna make an if statement now you might I don't know you might not get this so try to copy this from the source code I provide on the on the on the topic why are people yelling outside my door oh my god I need I need some like thicker doors or something all right so you're gonna do an if and then two parentheses two opening parentheses and then this is what you're gonna do like this is what it means try to copy it if you want but just try to copy it off my source code because I don't really want to go through all the things so pretty much if biome which is our biome like that we are currently in is an instance of I don't think we've seen this yet in Minecraft but pretty much like if of the class and then if the like if the biome is an instance of biome gem planes so if the biome is planes we can move on what this means is or so if the biome is plains or forest or hills or swamp or desert or taiga we can spawn in here now you can delete these if you don't want it, your tree to spawn in certain biomes so if we delete our desert right now there will be no trees because the the sand is only in the desert i mean that's the only it's the only place you'll find sand except maybe like on the on a beach or something so um if we go and look at our biome classes so you're going to want to find biome gen here are all the biomes you can find there's desert forest hell hills mushroom island ocean plains river snow like all of these are biomes so go ahead and fill it in whatever you want delete whatever biomes you don't want and i mean my tree pretty much spawns in every single biome but only on sand so you know just choose your biomes whatever you want next we're going to do the same thing almost the same thing as we did for our, our uh thing up here is make sure to like put braces after the if statement okay seriously why are people yelling outside my door all right so you're gonna put braces opening and closing braces after an if statement and inside of that if statement you're gonna put a for loop now you're gonna do exactly like what we did before up here so four into x equals zero x is less than four now this is how many trees do you want in one trunk I have four trees in a trunk of 16 by 16 that may be too much let's let's bring it down to two trees and let's do that now put a semicolon x plus plus to increase whatever if you guys don't need to know that if you don't know for loops but pretty much make another body opening closing loop I mean opening closing brackets then put um, your int yeah this is pretty much what you want um, int k or let's just name it I don't know let's not name it X but all right, yeah let's just name it K that's what that was in uh, that's what was in the generating class so int K equals base X dot ran dot next int so this is what what we did right here this is pretty much like what is the the value the X value and we can get rid of this eight see if that works pretty much like the X and Z coordinates of where you want your tree to spawn so you can spawn from anywhere like from 0 to 16 there's that so you can spawn anywhere on the on the thing on the uh, on the chunk so you want to int k is base x plus ran int that's the same thing we do up here int l well you know what to make this easier let's name it x coordinate and z coordinate and here you put x coordinate and z coordinate and then next you're going to want to get height value whatever that is so you want to do int let's just do i i get height value so uh x coordinate and z coordinate so int i will be world dot get height value x coordinate z coordinate 
And then finally, we're going to want to generate the tree itself. So tree, whatever you named your thing up here, tree.generate. You're going to pass in the world, rand, which mine is rand. Yours may be random. So if you're getting an error right here, try to put in random. Um, then you're going to put in x coordinate, the i, and then the z coordinate. And that's pretty much all. I mean, let's check it out. So we, we, yeah, we downsized to two trees per chunk. Again, if you're making a tree in a desert, I highly suggest playing on the, um, playing on the seed desert. Because right when you turn around, there's a desert right there. It's really easy for debugging. I actually just found this out, like, I randomly. I just typed in desert, and that worked, so. Okay, so we're getting about two trees per chunk. It's, uh, you know, I, I can see that. You know, it's not, it's not that crowded. You can maybe do, like, one tree per chunk. You know, it's it's not that crowded. It's it's fairly decent. If, you, if you're going to put trees in, uh, in other biomes, for example, um, make sure to do it like you know one tree per chunk. That's that's pretty decent because there's going to be some other trees in there also, and whatnot. So I mean this is this is fairly decently. Um, uh, I don't. I just I just had the word and I forgot it. It's not organized, but um, it's fairly decently placed. So it's not you know it's not too heavy on the on the trees. But it's pretty decent. It's it's about what you'd find in Gnome Forest. So, you know, that's that. And, yeah, make sure there's the custom texture of the trees. Now it finally works, because I forgot about the other method. But, yeah. So, that's all I got. Um, the code will be up on the minecraftforum.net topic. In I mean, it, I think it's going to be up before you even see this video. So, that's good. So, make sure to check on there. Uh, make sure to like the video if you liked it. Uh, comments down in the comment section below. All your errors and suggestions. Do not PM me. I'm, I'm, I'm getting sick of them already. Sorry, but I'm like I've said this so many times, and I just keep getting people messaging me errors. Like, no, I'm probably not gonna get to your error because your error has been already answered on the forum. So please look on the forum. Um. Yeah, all your suggestions and errors, check out the description below. There's a link to the forum. Make sure to check out that topic. Post on there. I will probably answer it if it's on there. I will probably not answer it if you PM me. It. So, you know, it's it's all about you and how you want your things answered. Um, the code is also on there. Source code download is also on the topic. So check that out. And... Uh, that's, that's all I got. I hope you guys enjoy uh, watching new trees. And saplings are probably going to be next. So, yep, yeah, watch out for those. So, uh, thanks for watching. See ya.